everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show. I am here in New York City for an amazing event. We are here at the Arthur Ashe Institute for Urban Health, the 22nd annual Black Tie and Sneaker Gala. Let's go check it out. from the Pavlina Show. I am here at the Arthur Ashe Institute for Urban Health with my very good friend, Lorene Arbus. How are you doing? I'm so happy to see you again. I know, I'm happy to, we're, look, we're matching like the lipstick. Like, go everywhere, yeah, that too. Everything, it's just so, how are you doing tonight? I'm very excited. There's a different kind of energy in this room, yes. and this may sound patronizing, but it's true, I'm convinced, because it's such a, diver, a diversified room. The energy is incredible, it's palpable. Yes. Definitely. Now, I absolutely love your outfit, so I have to ask the cliche question of who are you wearing? I am wearing, not a designer anybody knows, and I don't know the name, I went to a pop-up store in New York on the Lower East Side, and there were young women who are all designers from Africa, and I just love the African fabrics and designs and colors, so... And it's not a formal, but I don't care. Well, this event is just, it's just, it's just a great event, so what does it mean to you tonight? Well, it means that I get to talk about one of my favorite subjects in the world, which is how we can do more to make many segments of this world not marginalized. And that means so much to me, and I'm going to, in my two minutes, talk about that. Yes, definitely. That, that's amazing. Now, this event is obviously affecting the New York City area a lot. So what would you, what would you say, like, how is it helping the New York City area? Well, they're going into inner cities and the program is long established now. I forget how long it, how old it is, but they have a great track record and you know, and they deliver the money goes right into the programs. Hey everyone, I am here with Mike Woods. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. Thank you very much. What a great night. I know. This is such an amazing event. What is what is it, what does tonight's event mean to you? Well, I'll tell you what, coming out here to, sp to support sports ball and, uh, and Arthur Ashe, I mean, Arthur Ashe has been a name and a figure since I was a very young man. I played tennis as a, as a kid in elementary school, and I always remember hearing his name and then watching his play, and I was like, wow, and the fact that he was an African-American athlete, you know, just gave me that much more, hey, you know what, I can do this, and, and I think that's part of what got me started in the first place. I did play soccer, I played baseball, but tennis was another big thing. Thing in my neighborhood so uh, you know it's really something that opened my eyes and then to hear about sports ball which supports you know the youth getting out there and staying active fantastic it's right up my alley that's amazing and that's so cool you kind of like grew up hearing about Arthur Ashe and now you're at one of his events so you know supporting it that's so great. exactly I mean I never thought that this might be something I always was interested in becoming a meteorologist but the health and fitness side just kind of came along with it I actually at a uh, when I started working in TV realized that I needed to keep up with my health and and make sure I stayed you know very physically fit. I figured that would be a big part of it. So, uh, who knew that in a way, indirectly, Arthur Ashe would help me out in that regard because it's something I still hang with today. Yeah, definitely. Now, like the Institute for Urban Health, how, how is that affecting New York City? And as far as the overall program, I mean, I think it's great to get kids out and encourage them to be as active in different types of sports, whether it be tennis or soccer or football, basketball, just stay out, get out there and stay active because I think that a lot of kids have taken on this sedentary lifestyle with the advent. I mean, it's not even brand new because we did have electronic games, video games, things of that sort, but it's so advanced now and I think it's so addicting for kids, everything on the internet, that uh, to have kids out and active really makes a big difference and obesity, diabetes, such a big problem for uh, the community stuff like this really helps. Well, I am here with Patrick McGovern. How are you doing tonight? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And you're one of the honorees. How does that? How does that feel? It feels really great. I'm, I'm truly humbled because Arthur Ashe was a seminal figure in um, HIV AIDS advocacy and education. And to receive an award that's in his memory is something I never would have anticipated. Yeah, definitely. Now, this event um, is absolutely amazing. How is it affecting the New York City area? So I, I think it continues to raise continual awareness around the disparities that still exist and persist with regard to HIV as well as other diseases um, that particularly affect communities of color. 
And uh, we need organizations like the Arthur Ashe Foundation to continually attack these health disparities. I am here with Steve Lacey at the Arthur Ashe Institute for Urban Health. How are you doing tonight? I'm excellent. Great to be here. Very honored. Yes, this is so great. So what does tonight mean to you? Well, obviously, uh, growing up, Arthur Ashe was one of my heroes. Uh, I, I would love playing tennis, watching him play tennis. And I think, especially in our digital age right now, it's so important for kids to realize they have to stay active and sort of build healthy habits when they're younger so they'll be healthy as they get older. Yeah, exactly. Now, this event is really helping like the New York City area, I guess. So what would you say to like New York City kids that are like kind of like little couch potatoes, you know, or need to get more active? What would you tell them? What I would say to them is I get it. I'm addicted to my phone, to video games too, but you got to do everything in moderation. We are so lucky to live here in New York City, literally the greatest city on earth. I didn't grow up here, so I have a different appreciation for it as someone who moved here later in life. Get out, enjoy it. You can do everything, but don't just get stuck on your couch. I understand the allure of TV. But there's so much to see in the real world. Don't lose sight of that. I am here with Dr. Marilyn Frazier, who is the CEO of the Arthur Ashe Institute. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm great. So this event is absolutely amazing. How are you feeling? Like, how are you feeling about it? A little nervous. It's, a, it's the first time that I'll be speaking uh, as a CEO, so it's a little, yeah, a little nervous. But it's it's fine. It's a fun event. I'm I'm looking forward to it. We we have an exciting evening plan, an exciting program, so it should be fun. Yeah. What can people expect tonight? Well, we have a really wonderful live, um, auction. We're going to have a live auction as well. You'll get to see some of the things that we do. We'll be showcasing some of our work um, in the community, our students in the Health Science Academy and so forth. Wonderful list of honorees, so you'll be able to hear from them. And they've been doing some wonderful work, so I'm really excited about that. Yes, no, definitely. Now, I know this, um, this the Arthur Ashe, like, Institute for Urban Health is really affecting like, the New York City area. So how is how is it affecting the New York City area? So we are going out within the communities and teaching people about health issues. And we are promoting health and wellness within the communities. We are training stylists and barbers so that they can give health messages to their customers. We are training the next generation of um, students as well uh, that will be health professionals someday. So we have a health science academy where students come uh, for once a week and they come and they they're, they get a wonderful curriculum of health disparities and health inequities and so forth. That's great. Now, what would you tell some kids that probably should, you know, be a little bit more active? What would you tell them? They can volunteer with us. We have we have an amazing team of uh, staff. We have an amazing staff, and we go out into the community. We, we would love to have young people volunteer with us so they could learn more about social issues as well as learning about the social determinants of health and how to be culturally competent and health literate as well. Definitely. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Arthur Ashe, like, he created the, um, the institute two months before he passed away, right? Yes. yes, he created it just two months before he passed away. Yeah. yeah. So that's amazing. Now, what did, what did this, um, I guess, institute mean to him? Like, do you know about what it, like, it meant to him? Yes, he wanted to address health inequities because he knew that there were inequities in the health and he wanted to really address that. He wanted to address that through community-based research, uh, increasing the number of people of color in the health professions, and also informing policy.